वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ एडवांस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 कोर्स गाइस आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर इन प्रीवियस क्लास ऑफ एडवांस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रूम मेल बॉक्स एंड रिसोर्स मेल बॉक्स आई होप यू गाइस आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द कांसेप्ट ऑफ टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिसोर्स मेल बॉक्स एंड इक्विपमेंट मेल बॉक्स एंड रूम मेल बॉक्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू मूव आवरसेल्फ टू अनदर पॉइंट एज वी डिस्कस्ड बिफोर इन द एडवांस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 कोर्स आई विल गिव यू द कंप्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द mailing services so this is another session or another class and in this class we will discuss about how we can manage the mail flow as we know that mail flow is a one of important service of exchange admin center that help us to manage and troubleshoot the mailing services so i'm going to move our self to exchange admin center this is the microsoft 365 admin center and you just need to click on the exchange it will redirect you on the page of exchange admin center in the exchange admin center we have already talked about the mailboxes about the groups and resources let's try to understand about the concept of mailbox mail flow and in the mail flow yes it contain lots of services and by using these services and options we are able to manage our mailing services for any organization means with the help of this particular feature we can troubleshoot the issues related to the mail I'm going to start from the very basic. The first option we are able to find is message trace. As per the name suggests, by using this particular feature of Exchange Admin Center, we are able to monitor and trace the mailing activity. Right. So you know that multiple options are available. Whenever we click on the uh, message trace, it will give you lots of templates. So these all are the common term templates uh, that we need to use on daily basis. let me guide you how we can create our own message trace as well but firstly you should know about the five different types of uh, template which are already which are already available with our message trace policy so let me start from the very basic message sent from primary domain in the last day see this is the type of query you can say that this is the type of a uh, uh, template which is already provided by the microsoft 365 right the meaning of this particular uh, uh, query or this particular template message sent from primary domain the meaning of primary domain you know that uh, we are able to add more than one domain in our microsoft 365 services right but question which one is the primary ma- primary domain so i'm going back to the admin center to show you the concept of primary domain we just need to click on setting and in the setting we are able to find domain and uh, in the domain you will find the number of domain that you have already added so primary domain you can identify with the help of azure active directory but here we are able to find default domains which is considered as a primary domain it means that according to the first template of our mail trace uh you will find the information about the entire emails that sended by your primary domain right primary i'm not talking about the individual recipient which is applicable for the entire domain by using the default and primary domain you created up to more than 25 different users or 25 different recipient and each and every recipient sended a few emails so it will give you the complete detail of our domain not a specific recipient how we can get it we just need to click here it will give us a option like as uh, how we can manage the services whenever we click here it will give you the information about your primary mail uh, primary domain basically teachmecloud.net as we discussed before the default domain yes the default domain consider as a primary domain if you open your azure active directory properties you will find the same domain name with name of primary domain now sender means the entire recipient which is uh, which are added with the teachmecloud.net if any recipient sended a mail to any email id you just need to click here and find and just need to click search it will give you the information about the number of emails that you have already shared with the help of sent with the help of this particular recipient this is default setting but you or you have authority to modify it like now it give you the tracing of only for one days but you want it to for 10 days 30 days and 90 days right so you want to trace the emails that sended by this particular recipient or default domain you just need to find the date or days find the days and according to that you can send the email you can just click on the search it will give you the complete information about the number of email that you have already sent with this particular mail id i have already shared i have already sh- sended multiple emails right it give you the information like 10th 16th of october 
at uh, 7:59 7:59 actually i send it uh, send a mail to multiple recipient at the same time and it will give you that uh, the status of your email right in case of your status of email you can find the delivered and failed right the number of emails that you have already shared with this particular domain if it is successfully delivered to the recipient it will give you the option of recipient delivered if it is failed then it will also inform you like that mail that you sent which is not uh, received by the recipient clear so this is the first option that you can find in the message trace as it is multiple options are available second option is related to the message received by primary domain in the last day right did you receive any email from another recipient if you want to verify how many uh, how many emails you received on this particular domain no need to coordinate with any employee no need to coordinate and open any email id separately because you are owner of this particular portal you are performing the task as a office 365 administrator so no need to coordinate with any employees to discuss about how many emails you received from last 24 hours because you have a rights you have a rights of back end access so you just need to open this particular panel like message trace and select the domain and uh, you can decide the date like i wanted to check uh, did we receive any email from last 24 hours so you just need to search here it will give you the information yes you have already received few emails like this is the mail id delivered and uh, filtered spam means if anyone can try to send you some suspicious activity then it will automatically forward into the spam delivered and failed delivered so this email id you received from the from our domain to our domain sorry <coughs> next another important option because message tracing can help you to troubleshoot the issues related to the emails the another option message pending delivery to user in my organization if you want to check uh, any message are pending for the delivery we just need to select and click here it will give you the information if any message are pending right as it is all quarantined message for the last seven days so uh, you have option to check how many emails you received and which are in quarantined so you just need to click here it will give you the information about the quarantined mail unfortunately in my mail id haven't we, we haven't uh, received any quarantined mail last option you want to filter the all failed message for past uh, for the past uh, seven days you just need to click here it will give you the information about the failed messages means it it is a type of filter that we can use to check the uh, failed messages only so guys i hope you are able to understand about the importance of our message trace because the message trace can help us to manage and monitor the mailing activity these all are the template you can say that these all are considered as a template if you want to create your own message trace we just need to click on start trace it give you the information like which types of activity you want to perform all sender right and all recipient so in case of all sender you just need to uh, verify the how many emails you have already received and uh, sent you just need to click here it give you the information about the entire mail conversation that you have done with this particular recipient or this particular domain right so as it is multiple options you will find in case of message trace let me show you the another option this is default query you can design your own custom query auto saved query and uh, which is downloadable reports so these options are applicable to trace the message and definitely if you are able to trace the message we are able to manage the activity related to we are able to troubleshoot the real time issues related to the emails so this is all about the message trace guys we'll discuss more about the mail flow because the mail flow contain lots of services so in next class in next session we will discuss about the rules so that's it for today's session guys we'll connect tomorrow and discuss more about the mail flow services please do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys bye bye